Hey guys and welcome to the channel. First of all, I would like to thank you all for an amazing response on the previous Apex FPS Boost video guide. And I'm glad I could reach to so many of you and be of some help. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments and Discord messages from people saying that the settings did increase their FPS but made the game blurry, making it difficult for them to spot enemies at a distance. And so I've been working the past couple of days to come up with a way to decrease the blurriness as much as possible without affecting the FPS too much. Out of all the changes that we made in our settings, be that in-game options, NVIDIA settings or video configuration file, the two major factors that affect your graphics are adaptive resolution and LOD switch scale. Let's have a look at adaptive resolution which apparently makes your graphics look blurry because it lowers your resolution if your frame rates drop below your set target. Setting your target to zero disables the function. That means you will continue with your set resolution but get frame drops if your PC can't handle it. I would like to give you two or three different examples of how to make use of adaptive resolution option. First one is of my friend who has an i5 5th generation laptop with GTX 960 on it and he used to get 40 to 50 FPS earlier and dropped even lower during fights. Now this screenshot is of the point where he turns on adaptive resolution and sets it on 60 while in-game resolution is 1600 into 800. Now you can see he is getting much better frame rates and says the game is blurry for sure but is smoother and playable in fights. When he turns it off, like this, the game quality pretty much remains the same more or less but now his game feels laggy and less smoother as compared to before. Another friend of mine who has an i7 7th generation with GTX 1060 and is a streamer on Twitch had the same issue of frame drops but mostly while streaming. Earlier on stream he used to get 80 FPS and off stream he had 100 to 120 FPS and the game experience was not smooth. After applying the settings and capping the adaptive resolution to 144, he was able to get much consistent frames but again the game got blurry. So in the end he just switched it off and now he gets around 100 FPS constant even while streaming and his game got less blurry. And lastly my case. I have an i7 8th generation with 2060 RTX and 32 gigs of RAM. Before the setting, FPS was always fluctuating between 19 to 120 while streaming. After doing the settings from the previous video, I started to get constant 144 FPS but as you can see the game got blurry, especially in areas like Fragment City, where it was difficult to track targets mostly with iron sights or 1x scopes. So then I turned off the adapter resolution and it improved my graphics at the cost of 20 to 30 FPS as you can see in the clip. LOD switch scale in video config file is basically related to model details. So the lower you keep it, the better FPS you'll get. But if you go lower than 0.35, the models might become really blurry. So the lowest value recommended for this option is 0.35 and you can go as high as 1. Though it's a matter of only 5 to 10 FPS max, so you can decide if you want more frames or better looking models. To conclude, if you find the game way too blurry, you can just turn off the adaptive resolution. If you would like to set a different value for adaptive resolution or dive into it further, you can check out the EA forum, the link is in the description. Long story short, adaptive resolution is the biggest factor if you are looking for more frames and a smoother game. It comes at the cost of losing some graphics, but if you have a low or even a decent system, there's no other option to get more frames as far as I know, unless you want to overclock it.